With work, school activities, and homework, parents might find cooking a healthy dinner an impossible task. But there are ways to master meal time. We have Allison Bogle with Austin Family Magazine joining us with a few ideas. Good morning, Allison. How are you? Hi, good morning. It's nice to see you. Um, we all have this sort of issue come up once in a while. Yesterday was easy with the weather. Grilled cheese and tomato soup, right? But not every night is that simple. Yes. That's right, and, and it can feel overwhelming to make food at home for your family, but in reality, with a little bit of planning and thought, it can be faster, easier, healthier, and more affordable than getting a meal, to, a meal through the drive-thru. Uh, number one, you say uh, create a go-to list. Yeah, so you wanna sit with your family and ask them what are their favorite meals, and we're not talking, you know, what do they want if it's the fancy birthday meal, but what are the simple meals? Make a list and then post that somewhere in your kitchen or in your pantry so that when you're overwhelmed or rushing, you can refer to that list and take some of the stress off. Mm -hmm. um, at number two, we hear this often, plan the week. Right. So I hear it and I'm not so great about it, but an extra tip that I thought was pretty smart is plan it with your calendar out. So you're actually looking at what your week looks like. That's where I fall down sometimes. It's a busy day and then I think, well, I can't make that. But if maybe it's a, a busy day, that's the day you're gonna use the crock pot. Or if it's the sports day where kids are in and out of the house, that's sub sandwiches and fruit. So plan with your actual week in mind. That's a really good tip. Uh, number three, streamline shopping. Yeah, so when you've planned your meals, then you can also sort of plan where you're going to go in the grocery store. So here's the dairy, here's the dry goods to make your time even faster, or many of us have turned to curbside or meal delivery. And then finally, once you've streamlined your shopping, you can also prep ahead. So weekend days usually work for a lot of people. So on Sunday, you're cleaning, washing, chopping those vegetables, browning that ground beef for later in the week. You can even shred some chicken for casseroles. Anything you can do to set yourself up for success during the week. And sometimes that can be the hardest part is really getting down to it on, on Sunday night when you're ready uh, to go to bed. Um, a, a, few right. more, a few more pieces of advice you have here. Make two or do double duty. Stock the freezer. Yeah, so if you're making a casserole, you might as well make another one and stick it in the freezer or save it for later. Also stock the freezer with pre-made uh, meals, whether that's homemade or some that you can pick up at the grocery store. It's still better for your family than drive through and you can quickly microwave it when you get home. Use that slow cooker. You can throw stuff in in the morning and it's something warm and the house smells good when you get home. Buy pre-made ingredients. There is no shame in buying those cut up onions and celery. Um, they may be a little more expensive, but they're certainly cheaper than going out to the restaurant. Anything that saves you time, and then I think this one's funny, have a buffet night. It sounds a lot better than saying, oh, we're eating leftovers today. You just take everything out from the week, warm it up, lay it out for the family and just tell them it's a fun experience. We're going down the buffet line. And then finally, plan theme night. So we've all heard of Taco Tuesday, but you can have uh, Monday pasta day and Taco Tuesday and Wednesday stir fry. The idea is if you sort of decide ahead of time what your days are, it takes some of that thought process out. And of course you could vary it every week. You could have shrimp tacos one week to change things up a little bit. You can also have breakfast for dinner. We do that about oh, once a month. That's yeah, a good I know, one. right? Pancakes, eggs, hash browns. Can't, sometimes we can't do it in the morning, so why not do it at night? It's got everything in there. That's right. It makes you the fun parent, too. Oh, maybe. Okay, Allison, thank <laughs> you so much. It's always good talking to you. Good to talk to you, too. You can pick up your copy of Austin Family Magazine on newsstands now or check out their website, austinfamily.com.